Hey guys, welcome back to Selena Thinking Out Loud. Today, we're gonna to be putting up a garden fence. So I decided to go to Tractor Supply and I picked up these uh, cattle panels. I was researching, do I wanna use the roll of, of uh, fencing or do I wanna use the cattle panels? I like that they're very sturdy, a lot more sturdy and stronger. So I have uh, two 10 footers, no, eight footers, and I have um, eight 16 footers. And I also got this um, gate here from Tractor Supply. Um, and I got some adapters I'll share with you guys um, to go with the T-posts um, I found on Amazon. So I'll share those in the description and show you what those look like as well. I also have 10 of these T-posts. So that's five here that came in that grouping and five over here. I have the post, post pounder. And uh, these actually came complimentary when you buy T-posts. I had no idea I was gonna buy them, but they come uh, complimentary with the, the T-posts. And I also have my measuring tape here to just make sure I have some wire cutters. And I also decided to invest in a fence plier to get these wrapped around uh, the T-posts as well. I'm also adding some stakes and some of the mason line as well and some zip ties. Um, since I'm doing this by myself today, uh, I need all the little extra support. This will help to line the fence where I want it to be so I can get a visual of where the uh, cattle panels are going to um, and the T-posts are going to be um, in the garden area. And this is going to give me line, make it straight. All right, so I've laid down all of my cattle panel where it's going to be, um, where the front is right there is where that's gonna actually raise up and hook onto the cattle and hook up, hook onto the T-post. So I laid it down all around the backyard here, around the back as well as you see. And so I have a visual of what I'm working with. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stake where I'm gonna put the T-posts and just run the mason line just to make sure that everything is gonna be straight. All right, so as you can see, I put up the uh, mason line, got my straight line here, got my straight line going down that way as well. Then over here, I also put it, just made a huge rectangle so it can go all the way down there and across the back as well. I pounded in all of the T-posts in the corners of the fencing rectangle and as you can see I pounded it all the way down to where you couldn't see the anchor anymore and that gives me uh, four feet or five feet above here for the fencing. Now I'm going to go ahead and add I'm gonna do the side first here following my mason line and I'm gonna line this up according to where it's gonna overlap and then I'll put the next T-post to anchor and give it that support where it overlaps. All right, words of advice. Uh, I will attach a video in the description of this video to sh give you advice on how to use the post pounder if you've never used it before, which I've never used one before. I just thought it would be wise to get one since I'm pounding in so many T-posts for this project. Um, but his video was very effective for me, so I thought I would share with you guys as well. Also, get some hearing protection. If you go to the uh, firing range or something like that, you might have the ear hear protection or the little spongy ones. I didn't have any day, so I'm using and wads of toilet paper, which is actually working. I can't believe it. So um, I have my toilet paper in, but I do uh, recommend getting some hearing protection and watching his video if you've never done this before. All right, so I have this side set. Um, I had to dig up the ground uh, down here. I had to dig up the ground with my shovel and then I shovel the dirt back into place after I put the T-post where I wanted it. I just have it held up right now with a zip tie, just one zip tie, just to establish where it's going to be. But I have the side complete and it's the same height because this one was like up here and I was like, oh no. So I had to dig the ground up to give me a little, so it can drop and it dropped in just fine. Really nice. So it's all the same height, which is very important to me. So we'll continue on this side and do the same thing. I had to use my reciprocating saw to cut this cattle panel. I had the metal uh, attachment cut right through really quickly. 
so that I can uh, attach this first. I didn't want to set up the cattle panel until I got this where it needs to be first. Uh, so I'm at that point now. So to connect the gate to the T-post, I had to look on Amazon. I watched a couple videos. A guy did recommend some and um, I did go to Amazon and found uh, these are specifically for T-posts. They had all different kinds of styles, but I like this one because it adds, it provides a nail in the back so that it grabs into the T-post as well for more support. So it comes in two in a pack. It comes with instructions as well on how to connect everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and set mine up just like this. One facing up, one facing down and slide the gate right into those and we should be good to go. I'll leave in the description of this video this product that I found on Amazon just in case you want to connect a gate um, and use a T-post as well. Okay, slides right in and then I slid it down. I already measured my gate where I want it. So I'm going to slant it like this. You can see there. Making sure it's straight up and down. There we go. Straight up and down like that. Then I'll have to take the tool again to screw this tight right here to the actual T-post. And as I'm screwing on the back nail here, I actually hold this down to keep this vertical. And then I just tighten this up with the tool that's provided in the box, just to make sure it's actually touching there. And it's, look how locked, look how that is. That's locked in, love these. These are awesome, highly recommended. Um, again, I'll put it in the description of this video because there's a lot of different types that don't have that nail. You just slide it in. But I think that nail gives it an additional support that you need for, uh, you know, this gate doesn't feel that heavy, but you know, people open and closing in over time, you know, you need that support back there. All right, guys, so I just adjusted this uh, piece here that came with the gate. This one was already soldered on. So I just started there, work my way to the top here. Went up one more because it needed to really sit in here. See, lock in here. And I just tighten this up to meet that. So yeah, these brackets are amazing. And the door just opens so nice. Isn't that nice? Yeah, so let me finish, it's getting a little late. So let me try to finish this um, setting them up and then I'll probably have to do the actual T-post clips um, tomorrow. And tomorrow I'm gonna be back out here actually attaching them to their official places. I still left that mason line down there so I can make sure that I link it up right. And I'll apply the T-post clips tomorrow. So these are the T-post clips. They are very, very difficult to put on, but I figured out that my handy dandy Husky pliers was all I needed. I'll show you one that I've already done up here. As you can see, just took the Husky pliers and winded it around each one, just like this, winded it. You see how that's winded? Now I'm onto this one here, where you have to just, they come like this, and you have to take it around the front here, and then latch it onto the back like that. It goes around the T-post. And I find that taking my Husky pliers and bending them, bending it down, and then clasping it like that works better. You see that? Now, I want to clean it up more, so I would take my time with my Husky pliers and wrap it around. And you could do it, you can stop right there. You see everything is all clamped, right? And just go around here and bend this more. See, that's it, that's done. But, you know, for me, I would just go around here with the Husky pliers again, just to wrap it like I wrapped the other one. But that's as easy as it is to attach it to the T-post. All right, guys, so the fence is now com finally complete. Um, I'm ready to go to the next step of laying some landscape fabric, killing all these weeds off, laying lace landscape fabric, mulching, and then I'm gonna start planting my sunflower seeds all around the outskirts of my garden and i'll keep you guys posted on that journey as well all right take care guys god bless bye, -bye.